This is Transformers 96 here with another review. This time of Pirates of the Caribbean, Marcus and Clanker. Okay, I know this guy, I'm saying his name very wrong. Um, I know it starts with an M, and it's kind of like a C S something, something like that. It will be spelled correctly up there. This guy, I'm pretty sure his name's Clanker. Um, I might be pronouncing it wrong. I'm serious, I seriously think it's Clanker, though, and his name will be spelled correctly up there. So here we go. So before I get started in the review of these two guys, the review before the, I don't know if it's a review before this, but my Pirates of Caribbean review before this was of Pacifico and the guy with name, the, the Shellhead guy. Um, so uh, in this review, I said I made an offer in, on, an, um, on an eBay item uh, of a 6-inch Pacifico, and um, I was going to check and then tell you if, uh, you know, I got it, if they accepted it or not or whatever in this review, and um, they haven't responded yet. So just telling you that, and um, I'll keep you updated on maybe when I do my whole video of all of the Pirates of the Caribbean figures that I have right now, and um, if I've gotten a response by then, I'll tell you. So there you go. So, um... Here you go. So here we go. Um, I really don't know how to say his name, so I am just gonna call this guy M, or I'm just gonna call him Hammerhead, cause that's what he's based off of. I'm gonna call him Hammerhead. I'm pretty sure his name's Clanker, so I'm just gonna call him Clanker. So um, so very cool. So these two are the most sought after and rare figures of the Flying Dutchman's crew, three and three quarter inch figures. Um, yes, they are very hard to find. Um, obviously you can't find them anymore unless you go to some type of hobby shop or something. But when they came out, they were extremely hard to find and um, just really hard to find. These are the two that I bought um, off um, uh, on the internet. The others that I bought, um, that I've reviewed, I've bought all of them at stores. These two I bought on the internet um, when they were actually, um, when they had bigger numbers out there and um, they were a bit cheaper. So I bought them at the same time, almost the same time. When I got into Pirates of the Caribbean again, I bought these two and collected and completed my set. Um, I actually, okay, just a quick story here. Um, you know, when Pirates of the Caribbean came out, I kind of liked it, but I didn't buy all the figures. You know, I bought Pacifico, Davy Jones, and um, that's about it. And then a couple months later, I bought the guy with the name that starts with a K, the Pufferfish dude. And then, um, a about a year or year or two later, when the third movie came out, um, they released this guy. And um, when they released this guy, uh, I really liked them. And then I had another one for the crew because of this guy. And then I decided that I wanted the whole crew. And that's when I went and bought these two guys. And then it's been like a year or two later, and here we are. And I'm finally doing reviews. I've only been a reviewer for like eight months, though, I think. So who knows? So, first of all, let's go over this guy. Well, let's just talk about them both for a second. Um, so these two are the hardest to find. They, um, if you go on eBay right now, um, I don't know when I've posted this, but at the time that I am doing this review, last time I checked, which was yesterday night, there are, um, six inch figures of these two, but with the three and three quarter inch figures, there's one out on eBay with this guy, and before shipping, he's $40, and there's none of him out there, um, on eBay right now. These are two very, um, hard to find figures, um, on internet or whatever, you can go to different internet. At, um, different sites and find these guys and buy them, but they're probably going to be quite expensive. So here we go. Um, so I'm going to start out with this guy, um, the Hammerhead dude. That's what I'm calling him, Hammerhead. So he is like Davy Jones's right hand man, I think, and um, he's pretty cool. He was always one of my favorite characters. Um, I do think Pacifico is my favorite character now, but he was one of my favorites when I um when I first got into Pirates of the Caribbean. So very cool. So um. Detail, not great, like all figures, um, but, I meant, sorry, articulation, not great, like all of these figures, detail, amazing, articulation, a little bit better on this guy, and, um, that's about it, uh, the paint, this guy really exceeds as well, he's got this kind of, um, silver, almost metallic kind of wash going on on some of his arms, and, uh, his face, and just some parts of him, he's got that great look to him, and it's just very nice, his little cloth right here is soft rubber plastic, and, um, is yellow and orange, just looks great, very, um, 
um, worn and uh, weird out looking kind of thing. He's got like a starfish and all the stuff on his body and everything. He absolutely looks great. He's got that kind of like claw thing on his back that you see in the episode. He's got this kind of like spikes on his arm and uh, just really great. And they all have pegs on their feet. So if you have some extra bases well, from whatever, you can put them on. So very good looking. And especially the face. He's got some scars and he's got some red marks kind of like blood with the scars. So that's really cool. Detailed fantastically. Now accessories on him. He doesn't come with too much. He uh, This belt is an accessory. Isn't an accessory. But it is on his body. It just kind of goes right to here and just kind of like stops. And it is um, off. It's like soft rubbery plastic. And it's just very strange. I don't know what that's for. But um, whatever. It's kind of like hard plastic until it like gets to here. And then it like turns into soft rubbery plastic. It's very strange. I think this is just glued on there. And then they just didn't glue on the rest. Which is weird. So very cool. Some so metallic. Um, just kind of like little pieces of metallic in there. Very nice. He's got this kind of like dagger on his leg. Which looks really cool. It's not like you can't remove it. But it is sculpted on there. Looks great. He's got these cool hands. Um, very nice, very cool looking, just really good. And then the other hand, um, accessories, he's not that fantastic on. He comes with this, um, this, uh... Uh, axe, and that is it. But that's fine, because in the movie, he just had this axe. He really didn't have anything else, so that looks really cool. Very silver, very uh, worn, just very nice looking, really great. And, um, it fits perfectly in his hand. He's got a little spot right there, and you just can slip it right in there. And, uh, just, like, hold his arm, so... There we go. Slipped in his hand fairly nice. Uh, very tight, too. It's really not going to fall out too much, which is good. Articulation, he's got um, swivel shoulders, hinge um, elbows, swivel uh, hips, um, no waist. But what is different about him to all of the other figures is he does have a ball-jointed head. Very good articulated head. He can really look any way, and he can go up and down a bit. And uh, just looks great. Really nice looking. And they hid the ball joint in the back. You can't even see it, and it just looks really cool. So a fantastic figure, just very nice, uh, great detail, like all articulation, not too great, but a very good improvement in the head. So that's very cool and um, just great. So hold on, there we go, just get him standing. And now we have Clanker. So Clanker and these two guys, I have all of their accessories. That was the only one he came with. This guy comes with. Uh, two, I guess you consider the third one as an accessory, but um, he's got two actual accessories. So here we go. So let me just get this out of his hand. Very cool, looking very nice. He's got, he just looks great. Perfect detail and everything. And his legs, he's kind of got like the kind of baggy pants, which looks really cool with all the little shells and all that kind of little stuff on him looks just fantastic. Kind of like a scarf almost looking thing here. His face is cool. His hair, wow. Okay, um, from what I can see in the video, it's picking up a very bright green hair. I don't know what that's about. Um, It's not bright green at all. I mean, it's dark, dark green. Almost going on black. So, this color, you know, what? from what I can see, it looks green. But it is not. It is like a black. Almost black, very dark gray. It's a very cool face. He's got kind of like one eye. One eye is like all covered with the other scales and stuff. Very cool. And his hat looks great. It's got some like um, scallops and stuff right there. Very nice. And the, um, um, Davy Jones and like Pacifico, they kind of have hats. He's kind of got a hat here. And Davy Jones does have a hat on. Um, uh, they're all like actually on him. This guy does have a removable head, a removable um, hat, which looks pretty cool. Still a brighter green inside there, but it is very nice, and it goes on perfectly very well, and just sticks on perfectly. He's got this kind of like red bandana, which just looks really cool. So, very nice figure. Um, articulation is pretty much the same. Swivel hips, swivel shoulders, hinge elbows, and I think he might have a head, but it is completely blocked by his hair. So, nothing too special there. But, um, detail is all perfect. And, uh, just great. And then he does have the hat accessory also. One other accessory, which is really nice, is this, um, kind of like, uh, I don't know what you call this. Oops, I almost dropped it. Uh, kind of like wrecking ball boulder type of things on a thin um, pla uh, chain. Now, 
I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is actual metal. I mean, it is very thin, but it looks like actual metal, and I think it feels like actual metal. There's no way, really no way, of n um, of uh, knowing by the weight, because it's so thin. There's barely anything. You can't barely feel the weight. But I do think that this is actual real metal. Very thin real metal, but real metal. So that's very cool, very nice. And you can just go and just hang it in his hand, once you get it there, and then just adjust it to how you like it. I like the um, one in front down a little bit more, but you can just pick it however you like, and it fits in both hands. I just happen to have him in this hand, um, and I think he just comes with one of these. I am almost 100% sure he just comes with one of these. Uh, he, It's possible that he comes with two, but I haven't like looked at one of him in the package in a long time, so I do think he just comes with one. Also, the one other thing that's not really an accessory kind of is, it's like this coin. I don't know, it's kind of got like a weird type picture of him in there. It says, Care oh, wait, it says, oh no, it actually says his name, Clanker, up there, so that's pretty cool. And it's just kind of like yellow that's made to look like um gold, and it is just like um plastic. It's completely plastic, um so nothing too special here. This guy was like a kind of collector's kind of like edition one. I don't know why, but he came with the cool um uh you know cool uh, um coin, and he does come with the real metal um uh chain ball thing, so I do think that he's like a collector's edition type of figure, which is why it was really hard to find. I never saw this guy in stores, um, so I could never pick him up when I could. So there you go. So, um, so there, so that's my very review of Clanker and um, Hammerhead Dude Guy. Their names will be spelled correctly up on the title or down below, whether you're watching this on my page or just on YouTube itself. So there you go. So, um, so some great figures here. Um, go back a few reviews or just one I don't know how I'm gonna post them to get the review of these two guys and then go back a little bit more to get the review of Davy Jones and the blow um the 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 fish that when you like scared it like gets big I what, what's that guy I said it earlier in this I don't know his name but whatever um so go back to find those reviews and my next Pirates of Caribbean review will be of all the three and three quarter inch figures that I have of Davy Jones crew just comparing them all and any updates that I find with them and then um um that's about it. Um, hopefully, uh, you will see a six-inch review of Pacifico. Um, you know, it depends if they accept the offer. I'm willing to go higher, though. So, um, when they finally respond, I'll definitely go higher, lower, whatever. And I'll definitely try to get him, because I really think that he's cool. So, I'll try to get him. So, hopefully, you'll see a review of that sometime. And there you go. So, that's my review of Hammerhead Dude and Clanker. Thanks for watching.